you do to me? Nailed it. I'm subtle, right? Yeah, super subtle. Like a hand grenade. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Damn it. <laughs> Hello. What's up, guys? This episode of The Junk Drawer Show is brought to you by The Junk Drawer Show. We don't have sponsors. We sponsor ourselves. Yeah, we do. Like strong, independent men. We're men about town. Men of means. Men of that. Yeah, that's why I have a collared shirt on. And I have a tank top, because we are representing all sides of the hierarchy. It's about duality of man. You it's know? definitely that's what it is. It's definitely not that I just got out of the shower and was like, what's comfortable? It's a commentary on society. It's true. And I have this nowhere was, to go after that. This is completely planned. Oh, this is a late night podcast. I mean, not super late. It's late for me. It's late for you. It's b- the beginning of the day. This for is you. this is in my this is in my oh, sweet in my spot. Fidget spinner. Get your fidget spinner. I'm in uh, I'm in my sweet spot for the day. Dude, you have so many options in front of you. Oh, that's fair. This is like the the middle of my day where I'm like, yeah, okay. Now I'm getting getting started. Getting yeah. started, this getting hit my stride. This is my Okay, I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> I'm ready for bed stuff. Oh, uh, but it's been a while since we did a podcast. Since we, yeah, we've you and I have been on a podcast solo dolo. It's been a it's been a minute. Yeah. But you've been doing some sports stuff. I did a couple podcasts just sports to keep stuff. things going. Yeah. And uh, so we're just gonna talk about life. Yeah. See where we're at because things are a changing. Life, pop culture. So like every podcast we've ever done. Yeah, the same thing that always <laughs> happens. I found this uh, bourbon a- bourbon cask aged uh, dark chocolate. We're not gonna eat it here because I don't want. Yeah, sounds. that's fair. But I feel like it's gonna be good. Banana noises. Gross. I'm gonna have to listen to that when I edit. <laughs> fuck off god damn it reminds me of sam oh so uh how do you want to start man it's been a it's been a minute where do you want to do you want to start with life do yeah let's jump with... right into life stuff cool do you go first me first yeah. okay well i'm moving to colorado what yeah i know that yeah you know that i know that well It'll, now everyone else surprise. does but i'm uh i'm going this upcoming weekend which i think will be before we post this because i don't think i'll get it up by monday yeah that's fair i don't get it up by monday either but um yeah so i'm going then to sign a lease i'm moving in with a buddy of mine from high school who lives in seattle right now we're gonna get a place he's got a dog so i'll still be a dog uncle yes and um dog uncle. just gonna be working out there yeah it's something I've, I've wanted for a long time it's true i mean i think f- at least five years and then just life kept happening where i couldn't do it and uh my, my job's letting me work remotely, so I don't have to worry about that. That's crazy. That I they know. were just, after a year, they were like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right, dude, whatever, we don't care. Yeah, the, the only caveat they had was like, hey, just we want to make sure that you like working from home. And then I said, I'm not going to work from home. I'm going to get a co-working space. <laughs> like, oh, okay, awesome. <laughs> oh, dope. So, and now the senior front-end developer above me, he mm. quit. So it's all me right now sweet yeah luckily the the stuff we do now the other people can kind of fill in but it just means i have more responsibility which is not bad and you make more money uh i have my yearly raise so that i got more money there okay but i'm not i'm not pushing it because they're letting me they're letting you work remotely for after a year yeah, yeah that's fair so i think um and you're gonna smoke all the weeds oh well i wouldn't say that on camera all the weeds allegedly Allegedly, no, they the do. Uh, they do random drug tests. So you're gonna maybe smoke <laughs> some of the weeds. Oh, did you see Denver just Pass decriminalize? Mushrooms. Well, they decriminalized. Decriminalized. It. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah. That, I mean, I think, that's the first step. Yeah, I think 2020 is when it is supposed to go into effect. But I'm about it. Very interesting stuff. I mean, I know that was a topic that I wanted to. Uh, I texted you. It was like six, seven months ago, talking about the use of MDMA and, and psilocybin. Yeah. And then I didn't do any research on it. Sweet. So, I mean, I like basic research, but not enough to talk about because yeah, life. I've heard Rogan talk know. about it sometimes. And he's apparently it's a big thing for like uh, PTSD. Like mm-hmm. it helps a lot of like soldiers and stuff that, that went through some some shit. Yeah. Like it helps them cope and get better and, and stuff. And it's just it helps your brain. Yeah. It's it's if it's used correctly and in the right way, like most drugs, <laughs> yeah. it helps your brain. I think the. The best way it was described that I've heard is it's like a ski slope, mm-hmm. and the the you go down the 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 slope a bunch. You have those divots just from where you keep going, yeah. and doing shrooms or or psychedelics in a proper way is like a fresh coat of snow. 
so it's easier to do new paths. Yeah. So those destructive thought patterns are easier to get rid of. Nice. Because I know you have those. I have oh, those. Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like a lot of people do, mm-hmm. whether they choose to admit it or not. It's or even realize it. Yeah, it's tough to, it's tough to <laughs> kind of be judgmental on yourself sometimes. And I feel like as society gets more and more like hooked onto this thing, Mm -hmm. it gets more and more difficult to like realize your life and not live digitally and realize that like, Oh man, this Instagram model's life is so great. And it's like, yeah, she probably gets coked on off of her ass. Like, and just like, that's not her actual life. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was going to say is that it's, it's a curated, like self-portrait yeah not you, uh, not you, you pick and choose like people are like oh this person's so happy and it's like on the internet yeah, yeah. everyone's happy on the internet yeah or they're fucking miserable pieces and of shit they let it's everyone one know about it <laughs> yeah that's even something like this where it's very free form and we just talk mm-hmm. you still we're not going to talk if we have something super shitty going on yeah we're not going to talk about it <laughs> that has happened a few times <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i mean we, we've been doing this for a year and a half now. Yeah. Roughly. And thanks for being all 54 subscribers, guys. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's something that, like, I was thinking about the other day and had a realization moment. I was like, oh, my God, we've done no, like, advertising whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And we have 54, like, grassroots subscribers. Yeah. And we're fairly inconsistent. Yeah. Like, we keep stuff coming up once a week-ish, but... Like podcasts, sports podcast, stuff, sports it all kind of just takes, it takes a little bit every once in a while. And then like our schedules, D and D the last like six months has been a clusterfuck to mm-hmm. try and get people to like do stuff. Yeah. Cause now we have five people to schedule. Yes. Luckily he can make his own schedule. Yeah. Carlos is really good about lot, that, but it's super helpful. I mean, just, just you and I alone, we <laughs> will see each other for maybe 30 minutes a day. Yeah. Cause when I'm getting home, you're going to work. Yep. And you're usually in kind of a, like, fuck, I have to go to work headspace. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, I just got back from work. <laughs> I just sat on traffic. Yeah. Fucker. Oh, it's so bad. Yeah. No, it's terrible. But, but so, no, Colorado, super exciting. Yeah. Super fun. Still allegedly gonna, gonna smoke weeds. Well, allegedly. I, allegedly. I won't because of work and random it's drug true. tests. But I would smoke the weeds out in Colorado. But you've never smoked the I've weeds. never smoked the weeds. I've never done any illegal uh, substance. Any but illegal substance? No. None. You were a fighter, and all fighters do steroids. Oh, okay. Oh, which aren't illegal. That's just They're illegal. They're not illegal. I meant, damn it. <laughs> and I didn't do steroids. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, didn't, yeah, let's also put that back out there. No steroids for you. I didn't do steroids uh, because, believe it or not, it's super funny. Like, everybody laughs when I say this, but I'm terrified of needles. Mm-hmm. Not a thing that I enjoy. Love getting tattoos. Hate needles. So you just don't like single needles? Yeah. If it's a not, cluster of them? If it's like, a cluster, I'm like, this is great. I love this. Give me more. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is just about like getting shots and, and that kind of thing. Like it's just not my, it's not my cup of tea. Do you have to look away? I do look away. I do look away. Uh, I was, I was scarred as a child. I never liked it, but I had mono in my sophomore year in high school. Okay. And I had to get blood work done consistently. And this lady did it one time. I did it for six weeks. So I got six different times I got blood work done. Uh, and this lady they called the vampire lady. They were like, oh, she finds a vein like that. Like, oh, okay. And she, well, she also looked disgusting. She was a woman that like obviously tanned too much. Oh. So like her face was real leathery. Yeah. But regardless, uh, she was hideous. And she like, like I have good veins. Like I have good veins. I'm a pretty muscular guy i've always been pretty muscular Mm -hmm. so like the veins in my arms super easy to find dude she couldn't find the fucking vein to save her life like she kept jabbing into my arm like and it's in it's in this area very super sensitive yeah and then at one point she just stuck it in and just moved the needle around fuck off (laughs) yeah and then i like prior to going in i told my mom i was like i'm freaking out she's like it's a vampire lady you'll be fine it'll be great and i was like okay still freaking out and she was like just look at me as soon as that happened she went (gasps) and like turned her eyes and i went mom (laughs) gross so yeah after that bruised and went away uh my mono went away but i get that it was terrible so now like needles i have to ask no go were you asking for it yes how were you dressed (laughs) 
Could this have been your fault? It's definitely my fault. Okay. A thousand percent. I just wanted to make sure it was your fault and not hers. <laughs> yeah, it was not it was not great. See, I have to look at the needle. Why? I don't know. I I, I don't think it's a control thing because I'm pretty good at just like giving that up yeah. most of the time. But I think it's like if something were to go wrong, I want to know immediately. <laughs> not that I know what to do, so I can oh, yank it out. <laughs> but I want to know. Well, this went wrong. Yeah. Every, every time I give blood, I think, okay, this time I'll look away. And then it gets close. Like, no, fuck you. I'm going to watch. I know where my veins are. You better know where my veins are. I think the problem was it kept, like, rolling over. Like, the needle kept, like, it, it like, it's, like, round. So she oh, kept, yeah. like, the, the, the vein kept rolling. And I was just oh, like, cool. Maybe she got a uh, sun poisoning. Maybe she's just the worst. I don't know. <laughs> it just little, sucked. Little of column A, little it was, of column B. It was terrible. It was that was my worst needle experience. So, yeah, I just uh, I'm not a big I'm not a big like bl- I've never given blood. I don't do that. Like I don't just so I'm not just like needles. Yeah. yeah, like that's not a thing for me. They're like we'll give you a free movie ticket, and I'm like I'll just take the thirteen dollars and keep my blood. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate that. That's so. something I want to do again because I, I have a O negative, so mm-hmm. I can give. Oh, yeah, Universal Donor. Mm -hmm. And when I was at UCF, they had a a facility on campus where they would do the, I think it's called the Alex machine, and it would separate, if I, fuck, I don't remember. I think it separates the red blood cells from the plasma, Mm -hmm. so they can take more of it because they give you back the plasma. Oh. I think. Hmm. So, but it takes longer. It's like a 30-minute process. Yeah. But they they give you more stuff. So, like, if it was a movie ticket, you got, like, two or three movie tickets. Oh, nice. Which is, you know. That's kind of worth especially it. Especially for a, a college a kid. A college kid, yeah. I got 25 bucks for half an hour? Yeah. Hell yeah. Fuck yes. But I'm making $50 an hour. <laughs> I'm a man of means. <laughs> but yeah, cool. Colorado is going to be dope. I'm going to come visit you. Oh, hell yeah. It's going to be awesome. Dude, and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to keep this going too. Yes. And that then, is a thing that we will let you guys know too is, is D&D, uh, JDS... All that stuff will hopefully uh, be actually more frequent because Josh will be a couple hours behind and that will then work better with my schedule. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to kind of get on the same page and stuff. Yeah. So by by that point, we'll have we'll have wrapped up our current campaign, Strahd. Yes. Curse of Strahd Uh, will be done. Curse of Strahd. And then I don't know. I think we're going to take some time and do do some. Some character soul searching. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. I, I think everybody should get together and like, or come up with like three different characters, and we just run through different situations and scenarios. Mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna DM a game. Yeah, just to just to change it up a little bit, and then uh, yeah, just just kind of see where Justin's very home, uh, set on doing a homebrew next. Um, if you've watched Curse of Strahd, you got to see the the makings of that, but. We'll see where everybody ends up. Yeah. So, well, D&D should still continue, just a bit of a delay and then a different format, which I'll have to figure out. You are going to have to figure that yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sports stuff will still happen. Yeah. I have to edit that down and I sh- I'll, hopefully that'll be up this Monday. Uh, I just have to edit it and like compress it on all that mm-hmm. shit. And then podcast will still happen. I'm thinking, and I, I know we talked about this, I'm thinking we have... Or like an Orlando one that you run, mm-hmm. Colorado one that I run that we just kind of throw up. And yeah. Whatever the number is, the number is. Yeah. And then, um, and then the continue hours. Oh yeah. I don't like anchor is a possibility, but I think the audio sucks. Yeah, that might be true. So I'm not I'm not sure what the best way to do it is, but something with minimal editing. Yes. Oh, we could do. Um, I don't know how video would work, but Discord. Discord has some pretty good audio. There's oh, cool. a. I've been listening to a World of Warcraft podcast. Of course you have. Because Classic is coming out. And You're I'll a fucking nerd. Play is that one? One month. Yes, also. But <laughs> I'll they, be playing for one month. <laughs> that's whole, it. The whole thing, from what I understand, is run off of Discord, and the oh. audio sounds pretty good. So okay. I'll look into that. But they don't have video. Why are you going to play for one month? Uh, be, that's like a realistic expectation. Oh. Because it, it's fun, but it's so grindy. Oh yeah, because it's, it's super the old, grindy. it's like 2006 version. Yeah. Um, my roommate's gonna play, so that'll help. But I sit at a desk all day, so yeah. sitting at a desk again is like. <sighs> I just don't want it. I don't want to do it. But but you've been doing it with uh, what's it called? RuneScape. Yeah. Kind of. You've definitely fallen off a little bit since, like, you were doing it like three nights a week at one point. 
Well, the, the and thing now is, you're like less. Yeah, because I when I was playing a lot, my my friend group was playing a bunch. Yeah. So I had four. I have five friends who play, and when, when we all had the same like life schedule, we would hop on, do a couple quests, whatever. But now we don't. <laughs> so true. Every once in a while, we hop on, do a quest, but it's really just like there. Yeah. I'm interested to see what hap- how this evolves, you know, with with you in Colorado and me still having access to to most of our Orlando crew. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be pretty interesting to see how everything goes down. Yeah. Speaking of Orlando crew, we need to go to an OC game before you leave. Are there any? Yeah, there's one every weekend. Okay. So we need to. Set- oh, that's right. So June. Yeah. It'll have to be June. We'll have to set one up for June and like get super drunk. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get Uber. Like, yeah. Definitely Uber. Yeah. Definitely Uber. Oh, we'll, we'll and go for Sherry. Justin's putting, is he putting the commentary on this channel? I have no it? idea. Okay. Cause I told him he could. Yeah. I, so I'm, for, I'm for it. I figured you would be. Yeah, I just, okay. I don't know what he wants to do. So if he does, might be a new series. It'll be some video commentary. Or, yeah. Uh, movie commentary. We need to set him up with better audio. I thought it sounded fine. Nah. I was listening on my phone. Yeah. So. That's fair. I listened in headphones and I was like, mm. oh. Yeah. Yeah, I know he's he wants to buy an external Zoom to do it, which is like a hundred bucks. So we will support him in that. Mm. But, but yeah, so that's that's podcast stuff. Yeah. that's happening. So that that's my main life change is that I'm moving. That's exciting. Even Tomorrow. though moving sucks. Yeah, but I'm starting to sell everything, or I'm picking all the stuff that I'm going to sell. I took yeah. stuff to Goodwill the other day. Nice. Speaking of goodwill, before we get onto your thing, yeah, I just want to talk about the amazing flip that I could possibly do. Oh, talk about it! Yeah, so who remembers <laughs> Gary Bop it? V would be so proud. Oh hell yeah! So who who remembers Bop it? I do. Oh yeah, I love Bop it. Nineteen ninety six Bop it. <laughs> I believe it was twenty bucks then. I bought it for ten bucks now. Wonder how much it goes for on Walmart dot com? Guess Pat said twenty. He's a fucking moron. It's one twenty five. So realistically, eh, I'm not gonna get that. But it's no. a potential you could do eleven hundred thousand eleven hundred percent profit. Yeah. So. Eleven hundred thousand <laughs> <laughs> What is this Bobbit made of gold? <laughs> Pure gold. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, that's I mean, I would have never thought in a million years that Bobbit would have gotten more expensive from our youth. I think it's only because it's the original one. Yeah. Because if you look at a normal Bobbit, it's twenty bucks. Yeah. You're like, this is just fucking Bobbit. Yeah. It's those little things. Flipping so much fun. <laughs> God, I just want to do it again. Do it again. I don't have time right now. That's true. You're you're kind of smashed up tight. Yeah, but I, I get the itch. If I walk by like a five below, I have to go inside. I'm like, oh, how much is this? <laughs> oh, this game's five bucks? It's selling for 60? There's a reason it's here. <laughs> I'm not going to do this. <laughs> oh, But that was, yeah, that, that was my purchase today. It was good stuff. So, so let's go into your life changes. Because uh, it's not just the podcast. It's not just the podcast. Uh, I'm engaged <gasps> to be married. Show the ring. To oh, you don't have it on. No, I don't have it on. Uh, it's we. I have like uh, I have those Quelo rings, and for whatever reason, it was like drying out my finger. Is that the rubber one? Yeah, it was okay. drying out my finger. So like I was peeling really bad, and it's finally to a point where it's not anymore. So I'll probably start wearing it again, but. Yeah, I'm engaged. Um, that happened like a month ago. It was our. It was like two days before our last D and Z session. Yeah, it was like a month ago. Yeah, it was like. A, well, you guys found out like a month ago. I got engaged April first. So, okay. yeah, that's that's a thing that's happening. Uh, she's moving in here with me. That's exciting. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the podcast setup won't change too too much. Um, we'll probably switch it cause we won't have as much a table's going with Josh. Other stuff is going with Josh. We're splitting everything up kind of. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just move it over to, to yonder or keep it here. I don't know, but the, the, the setup won't change too much. And, uh, yeah, that's the thing that's happening. I'm getting a car this weekend. Oh yeah. That's going to be cool ish. Um, my weekend is crazy jam packed with stuff. Mm-hmm. I have D and D tomorrow early. We have a Mark Blake concert tomorrow night, which I'm super excited for. Stop that rape. Stop that rape. One more rape. No more rape. No more rape. No more rape. <laughs> uh, and then I leave early Sunday morning. We get on a spirit flight. Fingers crossed it survives. Um, go to Birmingham, pick up the car and then drive it back. All on the same day, and then go to work on Monday. What time is that flight in the morning? Uh, I don't know. 
I'm just going to be with Shannon and she's going to wake me up when it's time. Oh, she but knows I when think, it is? Though? Yeah. Okay. It's she booked the tickets and everything. They were thirty nine dollars. Oh, they're stupid cheap. Yeah, it was stupid. It was ridiculously cheap, and it were like, yeah, no, obviously spending eighty dollars total is much better than having one car go all the way to Birmingham and then drive two cars back. Yeah, like that. Those tanks of gas are not. No, <laughs> more more cost efficient to do it this way. Yeah. So plus, then you're not driving by yourself. You get yeah. to spend time together. It'll be it'll be. Good, even though we're going to eat all greasy fast food and hate each other because we're going to eat greasy fast food and feel gross. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm super excited. So I'll have a car and that's happening. And uh, just finished up my first season of hockey again. That was cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. First season just wrapped up. We're getting ready for season two. Um, Did not win. Did you win? I personally won. Yeah. That's what I care about. Fuck everyone else. (laughs) I personally won. It felt good, man. It felt good to get back to doing stuff like that. Um, it was definitely like that weekly thing where I could just like focus on it. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to destroy people today. And then like, would do that. And yeah, yeah it felt good. So I'm going to do, uh, starting in the end of June, I'm going to do uh, hockey twice a week, Thursday nights and Friday nights. I'm going to do hockey for like seven weeks or so. Mm-hmm. So it'll just be like a get in shape. Play better hockey. Get back to where you were. Is when that you were with the same youngin. team? Uh, Fridays with the same team. The Thursdays will just be like a camp. Okay. They're going to just run us through a camp. And I was like, yes, I want that. Please. So it's the camp is an hour plus, And then it's like 30 bucks a night. But if, because I'm doing all seven, they were like 175. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Take my money. Yeah. Take it's not it. bad. No. it's And especially like when you consider ice, like ice time to just go public skate is like 13 bucks Mm -hmm. and they're going to like run you through drills, do stuff. Like you're going to shoot on a goalie, get ice time. Like it's worth it. Yeah. So how how long is each session? It's about an hour, maybe a little longer. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. Yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited about it. Excited about the wedding. It's in Georgia. Mm. We're going to be in Dahlonega. Ooh. Yes. That sounds like a name. It is a name. It's an 30, 45 minute drive out of Gainesville, Georgia. Which is, is where it Gainesville and George. Oh, there's that's a Gainesville right. in Georgia. Yeah. Uh, it's about 30, 45 minutes away from where my fiance's parents live, and it's about an hour away from Atlanta, where we're gonna go Sunday to go to the aquarium after our wedding. Lit. <laughs> just, just like that. You've been there though, right? Mm-hmm. To the aquarium. Yeah, it was amazing. I have not, dude. It was honestly, it was one of the coolest experiences I've ever had in my whole life. Like, you know how you get frustrated with people when they're just on their phone all the time, yeah. like. I'm one of those people too. Every once in a while, I'll like just get lost in my phone and do stuff like that. It got to a point where like we're in, we're looking at the big tank where there's like whale sharks and giant rays and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Nobody looked at their phone. We sat for 30 minutes and like nobody said anything. And we just kind of sat and like watched. That's great. It was so fucking cool. Was it a, a guided thing or did you just walk around? There is a, be with people. There is a guided thing. Uh, but we just walked around and we're like looking at stuff in a, we were in a decent sized group. It was five of us and we just kind of walked around and, and checked everything out. And like the big tank is like in its own area and you just kind of like sat and you were like, holy shit. Like yeah. there was three whale sharks in one tank and there was this big ass manta ray and it was like, okay, these are aliens. Yeah. Like, that's actually what this is. Like this is, I'm looking at a tank of aliens I'm real glad they can't breathe air. <laughs> Dude, they're so big. We'd be fucking dead. It's like there's a video on my phone of like a man and it like comes down and there's a small child on the glass and you just kind of acknowledge like the size difference. You're like, oh, God, that could destroy that small child if it felt like it. Yeah. In the wild, like it would just be like, oh, food. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this very small thing I could dominate. I like, love fancy apes. Yeah, exactly. So, no, it was, it was one of the coolest things. I'm excited to get to do it with, with you guys. Josh is in my bridal party. Josh is one of my groomsmen uh, with Justin, Mike, and uh, my best friend, Andrew, who I just went to his wedding uh, last weekend, two weekends ago. Yeah, two weekends ago. Yeah. And, yeah, so it's been, uh, it's been a whirlwind couple weeks for me and us, and I need a break. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's been a very... A very pivotal time. We were talking about it too. There's so many things that are coming to an end this year and really within the next 
like this two month period. Yeah. Because it's us living together. Yes. My time in Florida. Yes. Your single time. Yes. Uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Avengers. Avengers. And there was one other series, I think. I know this year Star Wars is closing. That's up. what it was. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Star Wars is is it's it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's this is a sad year for for geekdom. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of closing of doors and stuff. But I and like for us personally, like Strahd, Strahd comes to a close Strahd after too. almost two years or a year and a half. You know, yeah, because it was March 9th. March, yeah, twenty eighteen. So we'll close it. Our last talk about it will probably be June eighth. So like, mm-hmm. that's pretty. It's it's a lot to us. You know, it's kind of crazy to think where we were to think where we were when we started this to where we are now is crazy it's massive yeah, yeah. the the difference is ridiculous all all four we'll say 0.5 i don't know i know carlos has has I, it'll be fine if i say it like whatever i'll cut it out if he doesn't like it he yeah. stopped smoking yeah so that's oh, no no he's he'll be fine with that okay. yeah he's done doing he hasn't smoked cigarettes in like a really like it's been a couple months, yeah, and he just feels so much better. Oh, I bet. And but the it's just money the, he saved. Yeah, I think he said it was like was it thirteen hundred something like last that. Time? Yeah, <laughs> like, and that was like a month ago. Yeah, and he was smoking like a pack a day, so mm-hmm. it's probably gone up like another hundred, two hundred bucks. It's sizable, yeah, yeah. But just to see, definitely the four of us, but then him as well. Just the the good that has happened in our lives in the past year or so. Yeah, man, it's been crazy, and I I think uh, a big part of it is a, a D and D has gone you know a good way into to helping that and like working out issues and stuff with us and and yeah, I think it's been awesome. Oh, and I'm going back to school. That's another thing. Yeah, psychology. Yeah, you're be a big brain boy. Yeah, you know, go back. Why not? Because the government's trying to take money from me or something. I don't know. But Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Taxation is I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just saying words. Just uh, saying. But yeah, I'm going to go back to school and uh, we'll see where I end up. This is probably my last year in the state. Yeah. So maybe. I don't know. It's up to her. She's going to try and go get her doctorate. Chicago. In Chicago. Chicago. Or Michigan or Georgia or there's a bunch of places. Go to but... Chicago. It's the best one. <laughs> it's the best around no one's ever gonna keep, keep you, down. you down. What's in Michigan? Detroit? It's not the 50s. That's not, you don't want to go. I know. <laughs> you don't want to go there. That's not a place to go. But that's, well, that's kind of where uh, my friend Nick lives, and he's okay. Yeah, she, it's just, she wants to go to a good music school, and I support that. So wherever what, uh, it wherever it takes us. Uh, Michigan State and University are both very big. M- Michigan State apparently is on, like, the cutting edge of, the, of like, doctoral music education at mm-hmm. this moment. Okay. So... Like it's number one on her list, basically. So it's like, well, we Texas is another one that's kind of there, and I was like, well, whatever, wherever you want to go. Like, yeah, it's just kind of letting her decide what she wants and go for it because you know, doctorate stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna be the person that's like, oh, wife, you want to go there? Well, too bad. Welcome to Donald Trump's America. <laughs> Thumb <laughs> you. So, but yeah, it's uh. It's crazy. It's crazy where we were like to think about the situations you and I were in when we moved in together mm-hmm. to where we are now is night and day. Yeah. Literally night and day. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. And then there's on top of just life positions, one of the, the really interesting things, you lost how many pounds? I think it ended up being like 20 something. It was like 23, 25, something in there. Yeah. So you lost like 23, 25. Justin lost like more 40, than that yeah 50? like yeah like almost double if I, not double yeah and i, I think I, I gained 15 back like we're all back to a healthy weight yeah because we it were feels all good. going through shit yeah i put on a shit ton of weight after stuff stuff happened yeah, yeah. and i was just like you got sickly looking and you weren't feeling good after you went through stuff and justin was like I'm tired of going through stuff and yeah so we all have lost and gained healthy amounts of of weight and the right kind of weight. Yeah, yeah. So, no, man. This, um, a lot of people probably don't know how this happened, but Josh and I lived together kind of accidentally. Um, it's just, it's a weird story. I feel yeah. like it's just, it, we had a friend we were going to move in with and it just didn't work out. And Josh was like, hey, do you just want to, do you just want to live together? And I was like, 
Yeah. Like, you want the same things as I want, and they don't want that. So let's want them together. Yeah. And then we did it. <laughs> and, and here we are. And the podcast happened. Yeah, and then the podcast happened after that, and like, here we are. I really think one of the things that set us up for um, not just podcast success, but friend and roommate success was that the 36 questions thing that we started. Mm-hmm. And we got through like nine I think it was, I think after 12, I think we did like a third of it. Oh, that's, yeah, yes, yeah, so we did 12. We never did the other. <laughs> well, the thing is, it the app went away. Oh, did it? Yeah. I didn't know that. So, and I couldn't find the, now it's all behind a paywall. I'm like, fuck you. <sighs> I'm not giving you $5 for something that would be really fun. <laughs> I'm just gonna. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Yeah. So, but I think that, because the whole point of that thing is, is a, uh, a way to get to know the other person really well, really fast. Yeah. And we only did the first 12, but I think that set us up in the space of oh open communication yeah and filled in gaps that we didn't know about each other because we because we knew each other fairly but, quickly but yeah not, but no but we knew each other before that yeah and then it, it kind of like catalyzed that. we knew of each other i wouldn't go so far as to say we knew each other i mean enough that if if i saw you in public i'd say hey Pat. oh yeah for sure yeah for sure that was like josh and i were acquaintances for like three years and then we used to live together and now it's like josh is leaving <laughs> what yeah so it's weird it's a weird it's a weird place to be i'm interested to see what happens in personal lives and stuff over the next five years to see the transition that happens from you know us being late 20s into early 30s and where everyone's at you know Mm -hmm. because everybody's got stuff going on mike got a promotion justin's in a healthy relationship and like moving forward with that and you're moving to colorado i'm going back to school uh, engaged to be married and like moving again and so i just think in the next five years we're really going to see it's going to be interesting to see where everybody's at yeah all the groundwork we've laid so much it's cool, man. It's and so I, much. we're going to fucking kill it. Yeah, I'm 30, excited. 30s Us is going to be badass. Badass. <laughs> I'm Super badass. I'm hoping some... I, I'd like to get a company to pay for it, but I think I'll go back and get my master's at some point. Yeah. Get like a... Like a... Not BFA. BFA, yeah. No. What? MBA. MBA, yeah. Get, get an yeah, MBA yeah. with a tech focus. Because I'm, I'm... I'm a decent programmer. I'm more of a manager. Like a tech manager. Yeah. And I think that that would be cool. Yeah, I think my my path, once I get through four years of psychology, I want to focus more on the uh, – shit, I said it the other day and I can't remember what it is. The clinical side? Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, I want to focus more on clinical. But what I want to do is go for four years and then I can do like guidance counselor, blah, 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 work in that field, have some experience in that field, and then go from that and while I'm doing that – get my master's yeah and then kind of move on towards something do you still need four years because how many credits do you have i don't know what's going to transfer i don't have a lot of faith that a lot of full sale credit is going to transfer yeah so i probably will need like three and a half years okay but and i i would be able if this was like a couple years ago i'd be able to just test out of like my gen eds but it's been so long since i've done any math that's not adding up a trivia score yeah (laughs) so i'm like great i have to learn how to rewrite things i have to learn how to do math again i have to science i don't like yeah dude i was trying to multiply fractions and i forgot (laughs) shit is this where you cross does it go is this a do I have to find the common denominator? Like where I don't fuck it. I'm <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh super concerned how everything's going to go. I think you you'd pick it back up pretty quickly. I hope so. I hope so. I've never been like math has never been my favorite thing, but I'll get through it. Yeah, and there's so many YouTube videos now. So many. There's Dora the Explorer. <laughs> it's my favorite. There's Diego the Explorer. <laughs> Okay. Go, Diego, go. There, there it is. Go. That's the There's one. There's Paw Patrol. <laughs> Boots. Bo- <laughs> He's indoor He's the ex- <laughs> What I don't I don't know what kid shows are on. I, I guess do. it's fine. Yeah. There's no reason for me to know. That would be from, creepy if you like, knew. Like Tyler's kid. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you don't really like interact with them too much. No, I, I mean, when I go over there. It's not too much. Not it's as not much now, yeah. overtly frequent. Plus, if you were, like, just sitting there watching kid shows with his kids, it might be a little weird. 
Well, I've, I've known Bexley since she was knee high to a grasshopper. <laughs> Sorry, a fetus. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Since she was a fetus. Cool, cool, cool. No doubt, no doubt. I just, her and I juggle. I'm teaching her how to juggle. Oh, you had said. Yeah. But right now it's just playing catch. <laughs> <laughs> she calls it juggling though, so. Cool. Yeah. It's a step in the right direction. Yeah. So things things are changing. Things things they are a changing. Yeah. Speaking of things coming to an end, how do you feel about Game of Thrones so far? <sighs> I, I'm gonna let's spoiler spoiler. Yeah, this is gonna be a spoiler, spoiler block. So yeah. we're gonna sit here and you can just go away. Yeah, if you want to leave, leave. We don't want you here anyway. Get out of here. Go on, get get. We don't want you here anymore. Get out of here. Okay, so <laughs> slowly turning like <laughs> southern clansmen. <laughs> Go on, get. Go on, get out of here. We don't take kindly to you, folk. <laughs> what folk is that? Never mind. Never <laughs> no, mind. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> um. So GOT. Um. I don't know why everybody's bitching. I didn't until I watched YouTube videos that auto played. Yeah. So I I like them. Even, I do too. Even when people point out the issues with it, I get it, but they're fun. Yeah, it's it, it's, I, it's fan service. This this whole season is fan service. Yeah, it's everything you wanted it to be. Yeah, but the writing is weird. There's some like the the battle plans, for example. Yeah, don't make any sense. No. Why are your trebuchets in front of your army? Why are they should be up in the castle so they can shoot further? Yeah. Why did the Dothraki just charge in there and then have trebuchets shoot? Because you only have one shot with the trebuchet then. Yeah. And then you stop because the Dothraki are all there. Then they had the barricades, right? Yeah. Um, the, the pointy dragon glass. Yeah. And everyone was in front of it. Why? Because it's dramatic. That's yeah. about it. And then why was the moat so close to the, the, the to castle? To the wall, yeah. Yeah. So... There should have been more space. There should have been because they they have the defensive advantage. So there should have been some some building up of the uh, field to kind of funnel people in. So one of the things that I'll say about this, because you're a lot of good points, but I've been listening to a podcast that's not ours. Sad face. It's called Binge Mode, and if you can get through the guy's annoying ass. Uh, impersonations because they're not good. Uh, I hate it. Like genuinely, he he does it too often. What, and it, what like, kind of impersonations? He does like a Robert impersonation where he'll like repeat lines that Robert has, and he does like a Maester Pycelle one. And this season, I think I'm in season five now, where he talks like Littlefinger, and it's just it's super annoying. Oh yeah, yeah. But like the information's good, so I anytime he does that, I kind of like zone out. And I focus on the road, <laughs> but like any other time I'm like, Oh, okay. I'm listening here. Knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. But in the first season, uh, Robert Baratheon talks about Daenerys coming to, uh, King's landing and bringing an army of Dothraki. Mm -hmm. And he's like, we'd be foolish to meet the Dothraki in an open field. They are the best warriors in that setting. Yeah. So that's why they charged because nobody has ever been able to defeat a Dothraki army in an open field. Like they are apparently in, in that kind of combat unmatched in their supremacy. Right. But they know what they're up against. Yes. They know it's a wall of a horde of just death. Yes. So why like they don't they have to filter in. They have to yeah, they didn't try and funnel. Them, the they didn't try and funnel anything. Yeah, like yeah. I watched some guy do a battle plan of how it should have gone. Yeah, and um, for anyone listening, I'm just kind of like drawing it on the map ahead. But so if the castle was here, yeah, they could have built things like that so that it kind of forced a bit of a funnel in. They didn't really have a lot of time. That either. that was what I was thinking. Is they, how much like, time did they really? When have? Tormund showed up, he was like, "Yeah, we rode here all night because, like." They're coming, and he was like, "Well, how long do we have?" And he goes, "Sunrise." Oh, well, they had been they had been digging. Yeah, no, I mean that that was just. I mean, what? Yeah. I don't. I think they would have thought they were going to have more time because of the fire. Like they were like, "Oh, they're not going to cross." My thing with that was like, why aren't archers shooting shit at these things they while did. they're standing? N no. At, oh no no when Shoot, they're standing at the moat and like the fire's going everybody's just kind of standing there oh yeah, yeah why aren't you shooting like just like start knocking shit out like let's yeah. kill some of these fuckers now while they're just standing there 
and they didn't do that. And I was like, ooh, that feels foolish. <laughs> so, like, from a battle plan at a viewpoint, garbage. Yeah. From a cinematography, tension, just coolness aspect, yeah. fucking badass. Yeah, it was super great. It was I so liked cool. it. Except for when also the whites, like, would get to a main character, and they were like, hug attack! <laughs> <laughs> and then I it, missed you so much! <laughs> and then it was anybody else, and they were like, I'm gonna eat your face! Like, yeah. <laughs> that sucked, too. But, I mean, like... Jorah went down like a boss. Mm. I loved that. Liana Mormont. Oh, yeah. I was so hyped. I know. Like, the, the way she went down was, like, the coolest shit you could have ever hoped for for yeah. that character. Like, that was so to a T for her. But, yeah. I mean. And I love that she was meant to be a single scene character. And they just wrote her in because the actress was so bad. She's a badass. Yeah. They're oh like God. that. I she is like one of my favorite characters in the whole series because she's just such a badass. Yeah, but I like it. I'm I'm. People are like, oh, the writing and blah blah blah. And I'm, these guys are trying to do the best that they can do without any like. George is like, okay, I know what's going to happen, but I'm not going to tell you. No, he is. I'll give you three things. Well, he knows. Like he told them three things, three major plot points. One of them was Hodor. And there's two there's two other ones that we have yet to, to see yet. Oh, that's it? Like, who ends up on the Iron Throne, and then it's one other thing. Oh, I thought he was executive producing. and He is, but he's not telling them. Like, he doesn't he doesn't really know. Mm-hmm. In his, from what I understand, and I could be wrong, so if I am, let me know in the comments. But from what I understand, in his book series, Danny is stuck in Marine. For whatever reason, they can't get her ships and stuff and get her over. Okay. The sh- what the show did is they cut the Gordian knot. They were like, fuck it. We're just going to get her ships. This is how we're going to do it. And they okay. just fucking did it. Mm-hmm. So he's trying to figure out how he's going to get her from Pentos or Marine or wherever she is back to King's Landing with all of this stuff. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't even fully know what's going on in his own universe. He can't tell like them everything. Because then again, okay, that's book fair. sales, like it, there's, there's a lot of logic behind it, but it's fan service. They're trying to go out on top and I respect that. They, if they wanted to, they could have made this two, two more seasons easily. Mm-hmm. They could have done, you know, an eight, an eight episode season this year and like a four or five episode season next year. But they didn't. They were like, we're going to do six. They're going to be long and we're going to go out on top. And I respect that. They're not dragging it out. They're not trying to do this. And then they're going to go do Star Wars movies. Yeah, yeah. Which is fucking awesome. I'm yeah. so excited. I do kind of wish that... I, I felt like this this episode four could have been two episodes. Yeah. And they could have done a larger season then. Yeah. I still liked it. Honestly, I liked that episode a lot. It felt more like Game of Thrones than Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Which is what episode three felt like to me. It did feel very like the battle uh shit which one is it in two towers i keep saying Minas Tirith, but i don't think that's right no i the bulge yeah battle of the bastards yeah that yeah it did feel like that too oh no i was just making up shit. oh well that but i know what you're talking about the big battle yeah where gandalf showed up and he was like on the hill with the horse <laughs> yeah you're just, you're on the third day you're like oh yeah i get it but um yeah i i don't know man and that like it's still super unpredictable. You still don't know what's going to fucking happen. Mm-hmm. Like Masande. Talk about like people in, in the way that like, what? Who, who would have thought like, nah, Cersei was like, no fucks. <laughs> See your death. Yeah, exactly. So now at next, this weekend's episode, I will not get to watch as it's happening because I will most likely be driving, mm-hmm. but so excited. Yeah. I'm going to stay off every bit of social media because I know there's a guy on Facebook that's a friend of mine and he doesn't care. He does not care. Oh, he's, he's like, dick. just, yeah, he's like, just watch him when it comes out. And it's like, bro, people have shit going on. Yeah. Like, go fuck yourself. That's like an NFL player, uh, LaShawn McCoy okay. posted an, uh, Endgame spoilers. <laughs> Immediately. Like, as soon as it came, he's like, oh, by the way, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. like people were like, the fuck? Bro, this is opening night. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, fuck that guy. What yeah. team does he play for? The Buffalo Bills. I hate the Buffalo Bills. Fuck the Buffalo Bills. They're the worst. They are the worst. They're not very good, but regardless. Yeah. So it was just like, what the fuck, man? Like, why are you, why are you being like that? Yeah. Is he 
Is he good on the team? He was. He he's, getting, he's getting kind of old now, but yeah, yeah, he's a starter. Okay. I was going to say maybe it's because his his, his, small. his his pee-pee? Yeah, he's just got to flex it all over <laughs> the web. He's like, mm, in-game spoilers, me. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. That's I'm a, out. That's 11 years, bro. Like, Game of Thrones spoilers, I can... Okay, like, I guess, whatever. Like, it's it's a... It's become an event. Like, it's a thing that, like, people watch. And they mm-hmm. set aside that time. And they're like, we're going to watch this. Yeah. So I, I get that a little more. But, like, there's only a certain number of seats in a theater. Why the fuck would you post Endgame spoilers, like, the day it's happening? Like, yeah. not everyone in the world is going to get to see it at that point. And to be someone that a lot of people pay attention to. Yeah. You have a couple million followers and you're just like, guess what? Blah, 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 blah. It's like Thanos was Bruce Willis the whole time. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Hilly Joel Osment could see dead people. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Fuck Snape you. Snape Dumbledore. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know. Fuck uh, that guy. Yeah. But no, I, I like how the season's going. I'm excited to see what they do next because apparently they're going to do a prequel. So I'm interested to see how that happens. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. And I, and I think that there's no way that they could please everyone with the last season. The last season also, I feel like they're writing it in a way that if this is the first season you're watching it, you, you can, can still, still enjoy it and yeah. follow it. Like you won't get the same like weight with yeah. things, but it's still enjoyable. For sure. And like they those can make little, it look beautiful. Yeah. Those little interactions with Sansa and Tyrion are like, I'm like, oh, it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are married for 10 minutes. And now you're not. And now you're not. But uh, yeah, it's... I like it. I'm I'm super happy about it. It's enjoyable. And that's mm-hmm. that's all you can really look for like in this like and it's still like I said it's still at a point where you don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like I thought I remember we talked about it and it was like who's going to up on the iron throne and I was like the night king. Like if I go in with the worst expectation like they're all going to get steamrolled then when that doesn't happen I'll be happy. Yeah. And that's obviously not going to happen. So Did you actually think the night king was going to be I on the didn't. iron throne? I didn't, but it was just like, that was kind of my way of being like, I have no idea what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought that he wasn't going to be at the Battle of Winterfell. I thought he was going to go to King's Landing and like, they were going to win that battle, whatever, not a big deal. And he was going to take half of his army to King's Landing and get recruit, like everyone from King's Landing because he's going to kill everybody and then march back north. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I was like, oh yeah, that would that would fuck some shit up. That would that would be bad. Yeah. But that didn't happen. So. And I wonder. So I I just watched a video when I was eating, talking about what Bran was doing during the fight. Yeah, he was warging. Yeah, because he warged out, and at the beginning, <clears throat> the Night King wasn't there. Yes. And it was very clear he wasn't there enough that John and Danny were just like, "Fuck it, let's go kill shit." Yeah. So he was, the guy was saying, I don't remember the channel name, so I can't plug it. Yeah. But he was saying that there's a chance that he, that uh, Bran was trying to coax the Night King to him. Which, that like, makes sense. It's a nice idea. Yeah. Uh, there, I'm, I'm going to believe it for now because it's fun. Yeah. But. Theon, like, didn't even stand, he didn't even try that hard. I feel like Theon was just like. This is how I go. And yeah. he just ran at him with a spear. And it was like, okay, man, you could have tried a little harder. But <laughs> well, what else was he going to do? I mean, yeah, but like just running full speed at the guy with a, like just this. Yeah. <laughs> you could have tried a little Telegraph. harder. <laughs> I'm going to stab you. <laughs> I think um, someone pointed it out to me that this is the first time he's ever run into a fight in eight seasons. Every time he's come into some sort of combat situation he's like ran away yeah so i th- I think it's more of a uh poetic arc for him to for him to cut like being such a coward and the being a coward was his downfall he wasn't re- he wasn't no because he ran into winterfell when when he was when he went back home and his dad was like you're a stark and a pussy and blah 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 oh, and when he, like, he had left a, to go an entire to, army and there was no one to defend it wasn't an, he had 100 guys he had 100 okay, when, guys and he went to winterfell so when he had a, a battalion yeah and he was going to a place that was completely undefended yes that's what i'm saying he he had power but now he was in a position where he was completely powerless but because he was protecting Bran. Yeah. He charged in. Because when, um, what's his, his sister's name? Arya? No, no, no. Uh, 
his oh sister, Yara Yara yeah like when she was captured he bailed oh yeah he like, dipped the fuck he was like bye <laughs> yeah like just what he does yeah so I think it was a good uh, it's like the it's full of good moments yeah for sure but I don't know it's cool it's cool I'm also I I think you're the same way. I just like to like things. Yeah. I don't get my jollies off of like, oh, this fucking sucks. Yeah. There's, there's always those people though. It's like, like, and that's the thing, like in talking about like Captain Marvel and Ant-Man and like even Shazam and people are like, oh, those suck. And I'm like, no, they don't. They're just fun. Yeah. It doesn't need to be dark and realistic in order for it to be fun. Like, I I don't know. Did you see Shazam? Mm Mm-mm. I saw it. I loved it. Yeah. It was so fun. It was so great. Like Zachary Levi was awesome. The kid, uh, angels, something or other. I can't remember his name, but, uh, was great. Like I love, it was so fun. It was so fun. It was so good. And I enjoyed it the entire time. Was it the greatest superhero movie I've ever seen? Absolutely not. But I liked it. And like, People were like, mm, it's still not as good as blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, no, it's not as good as Marvel movies. Yeah. We know that. Coming into this, we know it's not going to be a Marvel movie. Just enjoy it for what it is. Yeah. So. The the people who talk about how shitty it is, what are they doing? Like the people you talk to who are shitting on all these things like movies and, and, and whatever. Mm-hmm. What are they doing with their life oh are they in a good place no are definitely they, have not. they ever made anything no because that's what I, that's what i find is if you have never tried to do something large you just shit on it oh because yeah it's, it's it's easy it's easy it, it's easy to hate something but even something like this which is like our podcast this is pretty easy to build but it's hard or it's simple to build but it's difficult you know yeah like all we had to do was buy stuff sit down talk but it's still hard. Yeah. It's still hard to make something that's decent to listen to. It's the audio constant iteration. Is good, yeah. And and that, and that's two people or yeah. five people with D and D. D and D is definitely a challenge. Yeah. Now imagine expanding that to hundreds of people. No, it's not easy. As someone who went to film school and like has an idea of what it takes to like make a fifteen minute production, like making a movie isn't an easy task. Mm-hmm. Like there just needs to be more appreciation for the the art form itself. And enough people are just like, mm, this sucks. And it's like, okay, but like there's there's good stuff in everything. Like that's the stuff. The people that like go to the room showings at like the NZ and are just like, yeah. we like this because it's stupid and silly. But they like it because it's stupid and silly. Like Tommy Wiseau went and was like, I'm going to make this really good movie. And it's not a really good movie. Yeah, it's terrible. But you take enjoyment out of it. You're like, oh, this is a fun experience. This is something I can laugh at with friends. I can go do this. Like, I'll even watch Batman versus Superman. I don't love it, but there's different parts of it that, like, the the scene where he's taking out people in the building to get Clark's mom. Mm-hmm. Like, that scene, like, those shots are shot for shot what it is in the Dark Knight Returns comic book. Oh, that's I cool. love that. That whole se- I could watch that scene on repeat for like hours and love it every time. Mm-hmm. Like there's just little things that you just need to take enjoyment out of and people don't do enough of that. Have you ever walked out of a movie? Um for the movie's sake, not yeah. like you got a call. Have I ever walked out of them? No, I don't think I have. Maybe one, but I can't even remember what it would be. Yeah. Well, would you? No. I, I, they have my money already. Yeah. Like and it, at the bottom line of that, like I'm, I'm paying this thing to keep me entertained for that amount of time. At worst, at least entertain me in some capacity for that period of time. Even if you have to hate watch it. Yeah. But I, I always find something redeeming about most, most stuff that I'm forced to watch, mm-hmm. you know, like there's a, there is something you can find in, in any movie that you're like, Oh, this was cool. I think half the time, if you just relax and open yourself up to, okay, let me see what this has. Yeah. Even if it's not great, you can find. Like, I'll watch rom-coms. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. go out of my way to. No. But if it's on and someone wants to watch it, like, sure, I'll get invested. My my uh, my uh roommate before you, she was watching um, Gilmore Girls. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about Gilmore Girls. But I watched two episodes, and I really wanted to know, is Rory going to get into college? <laughs> Where is she going to go? Is she going to be okay? She's going to be away from her mom. Her mom's her best friend. 
Yeah. Gilmore Girls is one of those ones that it was tough for me to find a through line. My one of my exes, her dad. I don't don't ask me, but her dad was like, Gilmore Girls is the best written show on television ever. And I was like, do you mean most written? What? (laughs) (laughs) I was like, what? And like she my ex was she devoutly like had to watch something every night to go to sleep. So Mm -hmm. she had DVDs of different seasons of King of Queens, Gilmore Girls and Friends. Yes, I've been through Friends multiple times. Yeah, fucking hate it. Um, But. She started watching Gilmore Girls, and because we were on very different sleep schedules, oftentimes I was up sitting watching Gilmore Girls, and it was very difficult for me to find anything that I liked in that, but I really liked uh, the girl's face. Like, that was really it. I was like, she's pretty, (laughs) and that was really it, but, like, it was – it was something that it was like, it's on. Like, okay. Here I am. What yeah. what am I going to do? I'm going to sit here and watch it. Going to find some sort of appreciation. Yeah, it. exactly. And like it is very heavily dialogue. It's very dialogue driven. Yeah. That was one of the things I hated about. And they compress a lot into very quick words. Yes. They they all speak super duper fast and uh it's like that was one of the things I didn't like about it as a whole and this is this feels contradicting but it's not it was just one of those things like watching it i was just like you're not it's not like theater like you you, you did theater i did theater mm-hmm. it was like you talk to someone and they respond it was like they weren't waiting for the response they were just waiting to do another line and mm-hmm. i felt that way throughout the entire show yeah yeah the whole run i was like you're just waiting to talk is you're just waiting for your turn. It's not listening. And You're having interrupted monologues. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly what it is. <laughs> so, I mean, people like it, and that's fine. Like, Melissa McCarthy was on that show. She's funny. Yeah. That's yeah, about it. That's all I really got. I mean, if it came on and, like, people are like, I want to watch Gilmore Girls, I wouldn't be like, no. But, like, when it comes time to host a Gilmore Girls trivia, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'll yeah. be okay. I don't know enough about it. Like, I'm fine. Yeah. Like, I, I think for me to walk out, it would have to be... It'd have to be terrible. I it would, No, it'd have to be worse than terrible. It'd have to be like ISIS beheadings. Yeah, that's fair. Or like porn with a bunch of people around. <laughs> I'm out. I'm like, nope, I don't, I'm good. <laughs> no, this, this is for the internet. <laughs> I'm out. Fuck that shit, I'm out. Because like you said, I paid for it. Yeah, I and paid I'll, for I'll it. I'll find a way to like it. Yeah, there's, there's always something like... And, if I'm not going to spend money at a theater and I'm going to rent something and I, like I'll turn off things from time to time where I'm just like, no, it just didn't grab me. Mm-hmm. That's not to say it was bad. It just wasn't for me. Like yeah. if people ask like, what'd you think? It's like, mm, I can't really give you a feeling because I didn't watch it. Yeah. Like I can't like tell I, you. Like, I nothing did. Yeah, exactly. It was just one of those things. It was just like, meh. Like, That's how I felt about um, Anthony Jeselnik's new special. Yeah, I don't like him. I, I, like I just his don't. Stuff. Yeah, he's just. I feel like he's just like on the edge for the sh- the sake of being on the edge. My kind of yeah. Yeah, so I'm just like, meh. He has like he'll he'll have some good jokes, but this one it he talks really slow and it's all very formulaic. It's like here's this here's the story. You think you know where it's gonna go? Up oh, little dip. Here's the story. You think you know where it's gonna go? Ah, oh, little dip. I'm a bad person. <laughs> Like that's that's all it is, and he, he it's so slow. Yeah, it's so slow. Mm. Ugh. great guy, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, like he when he was on Rogan, interesting. I liked hearing him talk, but not in his special. My, you know who I've gotten more respect for listening to Rogan is Brendan Schaub. When mm-hmm. he was a fighter in the UFC, I did not you like did not Brendan like Schaub. Him. I didn't like. I was like, he's overrated as fuck. Like people were like, oh, Brendan Schaub, blah blah blah, and I was just like. Man, every time I see this fool, he's getting knocked down, knocked out, whatever, like out wrestled and like listening to him talk about the game. Like, I'm like, man, he really fucking knows what he's talking about. Like, Mm -hmm. it it is giving me a new appreciation for him. And like, I haven't gone back and watched any of his fights. I think it just like I feel like it was just one of those things where like you hadn't seen John Jones fight ever Mm -hmm. until his last fight. And you were like, oh, I get it. This good. Understood. Okay, got it. He completely dismantled this human. Um I feel like I just, like, luck of the draw, like, got all of Shab's bad fights. Yeah. And it was just like, okay, well, now I hate this guy because I just assume he's bad. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously not the case. But yeah. It's cool to see 
the the uh, fighter f like work ethic mm-hmm. being put into comedy. Yeah, because he's very interesting. Because he only started doing stand up three years ago. Something like I was gonna say two, two or three years, yeah, four but, maybe, like max four. Right, very recent. Yeah. And now he's doing two separate podcasts with uh, Theo Vaughn and um. He's going with Theo now. Yeah, oh the King God. and the Sting. Oh my God. God. <laughs> I just want to get that Louisiana accent down. It's terrible. Okay. <laughs> you need a mullet in order to get it done. I know. I, I can almost do it. You can. You can yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Shab, I liked. I, I have a, a respect for Ben Shapiro, mm-hmm. which is something that's very interesting. I never thought I'd be able to say that, but I, I do. Um, Rogan's podcast is in my eyes to a lot of stuff. So I, I'm... I like him. I'm very interested in I mean, anything he does. I'm like, okay, Joe likes it, so I'm gonna go look at it and listen to yeah. it and see what happens. I like, and sometimes he won't call people on on their shit. But someone like Ben Shapiro, even if I disagree with him, I understand where he's coming from. Yeah, which for I sure. Appreciate like he lays his his points out very well, and he's good about being like, hey, you might not agree with this, but I don't care. Mm-hmm. This is my belief. You don't have to believe that. Yeah, and he's okay with that, which is cool like i'm cool with that like i don't agree with you on some things but you are okay with that because you're like this these are my beliefs Mm -hmm. for me so yeah cool you know what i've i haven't been trying to find but i'd like to find is an equivalent type of person on the left side oh good luck because i when i think i don't think that's a thing i don't there's gotta be there has to be i I just don't know who because most of the time it's it's someone like the young turks who they're so far just blasphemous yeah they're just almost. they're yeah they're just like they just yell but about there, stuff but it has to be there has to be because it, it's not like if you're on the left side of the spectrum you're this crazy person yeah so where i'm thinking? andrew yang man that's that's honestly who it is is he is he left <laughs> he's uh, he's running as a democrat he's an independent yeah in, in my mind he is an independent and the fact that he's done he's been on fox news i i follow him on on twitter and instagram and he did uh he was on fox news the other day did like a sit down with their fox and friends or something like mm-hmm. that and he he went to shapiro and was like let's talk you want to talk cool let's oh, talk. i saw that yeah i listened to both and i was like fuck yeah like the more i learn and listen to andrew yang the more i'm like this this is my president. This is the guy who is going to get. I'll write him in. <laughs> if he doesn't get the Democratic nomination, I will. I will write in Andrew Yang. Yeah, because he speaks to a lot of things that I believe. And if you guys haven't heard of Andrew Yang, listen to his, his Rogan podcast. Listen to him on Shapiro. He has a lot of really good points, a lot of interesting points, and I just. I I support him, and he's got a lot of policy stuff out right now. Like you can go to his website and see different policies and feelings on things um so yeah do that yeah because he's awesome yeah as I, i'm staying out of all that stuff until we get to the actual primaries but i do know andrew yang yeah right? i keep wanting to say richard yang because I, I i'm pretty sure when i was at columbia doing the the college program yeah or the whatever whatever it was when i was there yeah one of the students was named richard yang god i'm pretty i'm pretty sure and i think we're still friends on facebook <laughs> so you're just like you no it's not that, you no it's, a different it's not you're, you're a brony That's you're not, this is not the same thing yeah so it, it's he's super cool he's really cool um i think you've, even if you did a little like went on his website for 10 minutes and you were like oh okay like he's very upfront about what he's about yeah. and i like that out of like he's not a politician lifelong he was a guy that's all about independent business owners like he's right. like you want to yeah. run your own business i want to support you in that how do i do that ubi this is a thing for you and it's for everyone and it's for this person it's for that person and mm-hmm. like so about it super about it feeling it loving it doing it andrew yang dab dab on the haters yeah i think does that hit everything yeah i think so i feel like hell yeah hell yeah what do we get to i don't know what do we get to an hour oh my god it's like the perfect amount it is like the perfect amount it felt like longer but also shorter but also shorter hand touch it's been a while oh you want to eh all right yeah that was that was great that was felt good came (laughs) here to do a podcast with you what Uh, okay let's wrap this shit up yeah so uh guys like comment subscribe this uh we're gonna try and do uh one more drunk drawer finish the trilogy mm-hmm. um, with Craig and Sam. We just have to figure out the weekend that that can work for everyone. 
um, because all of our schedules are all kinds of fucking messy. Yep. Um, but we'll we're gonna try and get that done. Dive a little deeper into some Game of Thrones because I know Craig is is in it. Uh, it should be done actually if we're gonna wait till June. Oh yeah, it'll be done. So it'll we'll be, be able to do like a recap, talk about the uh, moving forward in the Avengers universe. Should be super exciting. What happens there? Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, just talk about all the weird stuff we talk about when we get drunk yeah. at this table. So That'll be fun. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll have some other podcasts coming out too. I'm gonna do some with uh, with like people from Westgate. Just oh nice. Like, see you later, guys. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, Legit. We should have more uh, NFL ones up. I have one in the can. I'm waiting to get done. It might or it will hopefully have been posted by the time you listen to this. But uh, we'll keep that going throughout the season and stuff. We'll have different people come on and do stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, that's really all I got. Yeah. So like, comment, subscribe. Stick around. See what this turns into. Just leave like a us. comment. Yeah, leave a comment. Tell us your favorite color. Haven't we done Person. that one? <laughs> Blue. What? Same. <laughs> Smurfs. I got on a kick of listening to I'm Blue, Dabba Dee, Dabba Die. By Eiffel 65? Yeah, the best band ever. <laughs> Don't forget their song. I'm blue. Damn it. They have another. Well, they have a whole album. It's all garbage. No. I mean, it's all amazing. (laughs) Oh, there's one about having cyber sex. Weird. Oh, wait. No, that's in sync. Oh, yeah. No, I know that one. Digital get down. Digital get get down. down. Just you and me. It's been a long time since I listened to that song. I also went on an in sync kick. Just got paid. (laughs) Friday Friday night. night. Party's hopping. And I'm feeling feeling right. right. Booty shaking, booty shaking, all around, all around. Bye. See ya. Pump that jam. Pump up the jam. Pump Pump it up. up.